Hey guys, today I'm here with the Barricade Tubular Fender Flares with the LED lighting, fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. There are two schools of thought with fender flares, from plastic flares to steel flares, and they both have pros and cons. With a plastic flare, if you're off-road and you do take a hit, they can bend or break. However, if you take a hard enough of a hit, they will pop off and not cause any additional damage. With a steel fender flare like this, if you do take too hard of a hit, you can transfer some of that energy into the body. However, with a steel fender like this, these are very structurally sound and able to hold their own on the trail. So aesthetically, these are gonna completely change the look of your JK's exterior while also giving you a ton of functionality. With the flat style tube fender, you're gonna allow a lot more up travel off road for better articulation. You're also getting some accent lighting up front that will increase your visibility and give you a very updated look. These are available for all four together or just the front or just the rear. At the moment, they're gonna be about $600 for all four and about half the price for either the front or the back. However, I think with what you're getting here that that is a very good price. These will actually be one of your most affordable choices on the site right now. Some other options will cost roughly the same as all four of these for just the front. So install is going to be a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. There is going to be some drilling and wiring involved, but it's nothing that you can't get done in your driveway in a couple of hours. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that we use for this install are a impact wrench, a rib nut tool or the provided rib nut tool, a 13 millimeter swivel, a 10 millimeter swivel, a 10 millimeter deep socket, a 10 millimeter short socket, a 13 millimeter short socket, a 3 16 inch Allen key, a pair of snips, a pair of pliers, wire cutters, strippers, and crimpers, 3 8 inch drive ratchet, a 13 millimeter open ended or box wrench, a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, a rubber mallet, and electrical tape. So our first step to removing our front fender is to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts holding in our inner liner. So now we can remove the couple of pop clips using a trim removal tool that are holding on the inner fender liner. So now we're ready to fully remove our front fender. So make sure you disconnect your marker light. You can disconnect it from the harness that's attached to the front of the Jeep, or you can just remove the bulb. But either way, you wanna make sure that's disconnected so you don't rip it out of the harness. We've already removed our marker bulb because of the damage on our fender. So next, you can just pull up on the fender and pull outward. It should be pretty easy to remove. So sometimes these clips do like to stay in there after you remove your fender. You can just pop those out with a trim removal tool. So to remove our rear fender, we don't have any bolts holding it in. It's all gonna be pop clips, so you just need your trim removal tool. So we have two pop clips holding up the top. So if the top of the pop clip starts to bend, you can just pull them out with a pair of pliers. Now we can remove the bottom one. So sometimes the top of the pop clip can slip through the inner fender liner, that's okay. We'll still be able to remove it and we can remove those after when we have a little bit more room. All right, that boy went through too. So after you're finished taking out all of the pop clips, we can fully remove our back fender. So we're just going to remove the remaining pop clips left over. The front is a little bit easier to pull up, so you will have to tug on the fender a little bit harder than the front, uh, so these will most likely stay in place. So 
compared to the stock fender flare that does hang over the side, these new tube fenders will be flat, so these will allow a lot more up travel off-road for bigger wheels and tires. Not to mention you are getting an upgraded off-road look with the accent lighting attached to your fender flare. This is also going to have some functionality giving you some extra peripheral visibility while you're out on the trail and it's going to replace the marker light on your stock fender. So those are going to be in a better position than the stock one. As you can see out on the trail we have broken ours so these are going to do a lot better at holding their own. So enough about our stock flares, let's bolt up our new ones. So with our light in the fender and our wiring harness tucked up and out of the way, we can bolt on our fender. So we do have this tab here that we can rest our fender on so we can bolt up all of our hardware. So you're going to take your 13 millimeter bolt with the washer and then you can attach your washer and nut on the back side. Now we are going to loosely install all of our hardware so we make sure that all of our bolt holes line up and then we can tighten everything down at the end. So to hold the top bolts in place so the fender flare is not hanging down on you, you can insert your sleeve in the middle of the fender well. And take the smaller Allen head bolt and bolt it through. So once the Allen head bolt is through, you can attach the washer and the nut on the back side and then move along to the other bolt. So the reason I put that back bolt in is just so I can secure down the hardware without having to juggle around the fender. So with that said, let's get all of the other hardware bolted in. So this is a tight space up here, it may take a couple of tries, but I recommend to put the nut up there first, the nut in the washer, and then you can put your bolt through and screw that in. So in order to install the hardware for these two bottom bolt holes, you will need to drill two 3 8 inch holes directly behind these bolt holes in the inner body. So once you push this through, you can attach the washer and then lock nut on the back of it and that will hold our fender in place while we bolt in everything else. So our last bolt that we have to attach is with the longer sleeve. You can insert that in between the two bolt holes and you can push the bolt through. You might have to push up on the fender to get everything lined up. That will pass through. Then you can attach your washer and your lock nut on the back of that. So now we can tighten everything down with a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter swivel. You're not going to have much room to work with or you could use a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet. I'd recommend to hold up on the fender while you're tightening everything down so it sits in place correctly. You can take a 3 16 inch Allen key and tighten down our bottom two bolts. So now you can take a 13 millimeter box wrench and a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, since there isn't a lot of room up here, and tighten down this last front bolt. So for our wiring, we attached quick disconnects to our positive and negative lead on our wiring harness for our accessory light and tapped into our power and our ground on our marker light. So you can attach those. So whenever you turn on your daytime running lights to wherever your marker is on, your new accessory lighting will also be on. So after those are connected, you can electrical tape those and clean up your wiring. So before we install our barricade tube fenders on our Wrangler, we want to take the foam tape that's going to protect any of the metal from hitting the body of the Jeep and measure it out, cut it up, and tape it on our tube fender.
So now we can take a knife and cut out our bolt holes. So because we don't have access to the inside of our inner fender well to bolt up our tube fender, they provided us with rib nuts in order to attach it. So instead of manually doing it, you can use the rib nut tool. You just have to fully open the tool and thread the rib nut on. Insert it in the where you want it and tighten it down. Now we will leave these two bottom holes on either side free and just do the eight around the top portion. So now we can bolt up our fenders with the provided hardware. So with the help of a friend holding up the fender, we can take our provided hardware and bolt it in. Once all of our hardware is in, we can tighten everything down with a 10 millimeter swivel. Since these are in an angle, they are easier to access, so we can tighten them down with a regular 10 millimeter socket. So that wraps it up for my review and install. If you're the owner of an 07 to 18 JK and you're looking for a set of durable tube fenders with a touch of style, you can check out the Barricade Tubular Fender Flares with the LED lighting right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.